Welcome back, Critical here. Another banished. Uh, I was planning on recording some other stuff today, but uh, the weather was pretty bad, so I didn't have much time uh, to do anything. I was working, and then I got off work early because of the rain, and then it was like lightning and thundering, and I didn't want to risk anything, so I had all my electronics shut off. I just I worry like that sometimes. So um, yeah. We're just gonna play this and I'm gonna get it uploaded so at least there's something tonight. Right now it's winter. Um, someone mentioned about having to worry about your workers going out. That is true, but I believe that's what the fur coats are for. Um, and eventually once we get like sheep we can make better like wool ones. Uh, but that's what coats are for, so if you have coats you should be fine. Because I've made it through at least three winters. And I've never had a person freeze. I've always had the houses nice and warm. Plenty of firewood. Um, and I've always had coats, so once the coats started going low, I put up a tailor. Speaking of wood, we have quite a bit of wood, so I'm going to put one person in here, just in case. Um, and I'm going to have them work on... let's see, this one's not working. That's interesting. Um, why are they not working? Ah! <laughs> I had to push the button. There we go. So we'll have two people working in there, getting food. Always gotta look for these icons. Very handy. Um, that one I believe means because I could put two workers here maybe? Maybe not. I could have been lying about that. Yeah, I can't believe <laughs> that would have been bad. We would have ran out of food for sure. Uh, fish is not the best main source. You actually want variety in this game. So unlike other games where you could just like grow tons and tons of crops or just eat lots and lots of meat, this one you need a little bit of variety for their diets so that they stay healthy, which is the hearts here. Um, speaking of healthy, we're going to pause here while we look around. So we are planning on clearing some of this stone out and putting in a gatherer's hut. Um, eventually we could clear out this stone and put in a forester as well, and he would plant trees and that's fine. Gatherers and foresters work pretty good together. Um, the only ones you don't want to stick together are foresters and herbless, which are down here. And herbless gather um, basically herbs that are for med uh, medicine use, but they only grow in older trees. So if you have a forester in there, he's going to cut down the oldest trees first, um, which ruins the or lowers the amount of herbs that you can actually gather. So that's one thing we got to worry about right now. Just trying to figure out where we're going to do that. We could actually put herbless down here and then we could put the woodcutter up here because there is a lot more trees actually up here than there is down here. It's a little sparse sparse I should say. So we're going to unpause see how this is going. They haven't got any growing yet I don't think. Maybe they won't plant it. Nope they're planting. I see one right there. Okay, so he's planting those, so that's good. Uh, our next project, I think, is going to be a gatherer. We're going to want to stay on top of our food production. So, let's see. Gatherer's hut. If we planned it out, this looks like a pretty good spot. And we could actually put it right here with all these rocks. It's not too far, and we have to clear them out anyways. So, let's... Uh, oops like that again. Rotate it right here. No, let's face it this way so we can see it. Let's put it right there. Look at that snow coming down. Now we're going to let that go so that they can clear that out and we're going to put in a road right through here. So let's see, we find our little building. We wait till it turns green so we know that's the front of it. And let's just bring the road why not right here? Looks pretty good. And then we'll bring it to here. There we go. Now the woodcutters, I mean the builders, will build the road while the people are clearing the rocks for them. Uh, let's see what a gatherer hut costs. It costs 30 wood and 12 stone. Oh, that's not bad. We already have the resources. And we're going to have even more stone here. I'm actually going to put another stockpile close though. Because, um,. Well, I'd rather not have them take all this all the way over here. So let's see, that's under... 
Trouble is finding a spot, so our thing's gonna be right here. We don't need too big of a stockpile, really. So let's just put it right there. Perfect. That way they don't have to travel too far. Now it is late winter already. And uh, I think we're gonna make it. Almost a thousand food left in stock. We got coats still. We got, look at this, our firewood's up to a hundred some. We're gonna be golden. Um, let's see what they got it up to. 200. Oh, that's fine. Once it hits 200, they will actually stop. Um, and then we can have them start doing something else. They're getting fish. Once it hits spring, we're going to put some workers over there. Speaking of workers, let's check how many we have. We have six laborers. Okay. So if we put two in each crops, that's going to knock us down to only two laborers. Which isn't the best. But actually, we don't need that extra farmer, so we're going to have three laborers. That's fine. Yeah, orchards don't grow anything for at least two or three years. Um, so we can take that farmer and put him someplace else. So we'll be a little bit slow in production during the summer, and then a little busier during the winter. That's kind of how I run. So there they go. Again, nice. Lots of stone. i to clear out 12 things for that one still. These guys are clearing and then building, which is nice. They actually uh, clear out anything that's in their way, like these trees here. They'll remove them and gather more resources, and then they build the road. Once we... Uh, wow, there's a lot of stone in there. Once we get a little bit going, I'll upgrade these roads to stone roads, but right now we kind of need the stone. Um, we don't need the speed. I mean, it's not really that far. Usually I get stuck with um, having to go across bridges or rivers. So I'm putting lots of resources into building bridges, which while we're waiting we can see here. Uh, regular road doesn't cost anything. Stone road, one piece of stone per spot, which adds up pretty quickly. Uh, wooden bridges though. Uh, four wood and one unit of stone for each length. Now if I go over here just for example, you can't really put it right on the very edge. You have to get somewhere flat. So this one example, the cheapest we can go is 52 wood and fifth or 13 stone. So yeah, those resources going into just a simple bridge um, adds up if you're not careful. Let's see how our our guy's doing here. Looks like he's actually done, and that's fine. See, they went all the way to the ends at least with the trees. Uh, just the gap. They put a gap between each one, so that's fine. If I would have had it one more slot, maybe I uh, could have had three rows of trees. But we can always expand that later on. I mean, we don't really need too much of an orchard right now. So it's winter. It's 52, 42 degrees. It's not bad. And our woodcutter's up to 166 now. There we go. This gather is going to be nice. They will gather all year round, so that's a bonus. They're like the fisher, um, except for that they gather lots of fruits and some vegetables. I mean, lots of vegetables and some fruits with the berries. So they kind of help equal and balance out so you're not eating just fish all the time. And whatever leftovers you have of crops. So there we go. Look at this. This stockpile full of stone. It looks a lot more than there is. There's only 12 stone in there. But this is what they cleared. It can go right back into what they're going to build. So that's perfect. Okay, which is, let's see, 12 stone they already got. So they're just going to have to pack some wood over. Which I could clear, but... Actually, we could do that. Let's check the range on this. I'm thinking of putting the Forester right across the street just to maximize efficiency with this giant circle grid. So we could have them chop some of these trees down for future housing. Let's click on that again. So right around here we could clear some trees actually while they're waiting. Um, wood. Let's clear... Oops. Click and drag. There we go. 
what I do is I, I, uh, I play a game and I record it, and then while it's rendering, I usually play a little game, something that's not too crazy, because I, I play and render on the same computer, I only have one computer, so, uh, I play little games that are not too crazy powerful, uh, so I've been playing No Mario, and that one's completely different, where you just click and it automatically has this giant box you can click around, and then you click again, so, look at that, getting wood like crazy, oh, and they're done, see, wood is done, I don't know why that disappeared on me again. I hit 180, so there was 200, and then somebody took some wood. So we're just gonna cancel that just in case. Pause that. I don't know. I just micromanage everything, so just in case, we'll click both of those. So we got plenty of wood for this, because it's already spring. Look at this. We gotta get these crops going. So I already switched them out. Let's put work. Let's put two farmers there. And let's put two farmers in there. Bam. And so that leaves us with six laborers. Nice. Because this one doesn't need any farmers. In fact, we're going to cancel that one too, just in case. So let's see. Yeah, everything connects. So I just remembered that. So I, because I clicked on the two that doesn't mean there's two farmers in each, there's two farmers total. So there we go, we got four farmers going. Which means we have four laborers. It's pretty good. Just the right amount. And look at that, already ready. Builders are going to get on top of that, all three of them. So next project is, let's see, food, 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 food. And food. Let's see what else can we do. We have stone our tools. We have stone, we got iron, we got wood. I don't know. Let's go browse through here. We might build another house. Because we're gonna have a lot more food now. So we're gonna need more stone. So we might as well do that. Let's get some more stone right here. Cause no one uses stone in the woods anyways. <laughs> there we go sure that's all cleared out. Perfect. Let's double check our rain. We could actually put some housing right in here. But I think we're going to keep them along this road here. Um, just so we have them close to the stockpile until I build another one. This one holds all the food. This holds resources. So that's why there's the two different ones. Um, homes. Stone. Rotate that around. So we can put one there. Oops. One right there. Oh, we can almost put one there. Let's do this. Let's go back here to our road options. No, that's not it. This one. Cancel, remove. Did that work? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no, that's it. Remove roads. There's two different ones. There we go. And we're just going to have this one a little crooked. I don't really mind. There we go. As long as it's not interfering with our crops, I don't really mind at all. There we go. Unpause. So yeah. I'll be uh, getting more housing going because we're going to have more jobs. We need to have a good amount of laborers to help keep production going. So, oops, before I forget, let's pause this house and this house. We only need one house really going right now. If it's slow, we can always pause, unpause these, let all the laborers put the materials in them. So that all you have to do is unpause it and the builders will build it. So that's a really nice feature. You can let it get ready to build, but not ready, you know? So you have the resources done. It's just got to click it. So they're gathering more stone. These guys are fishing. Let's plan out our next thing. So we're going to have a lumber yard here eventually, but not right now. We're going to clear out a bunch of the stone before we do that. And then 
We'll have the herbalist way down here, which I think will be the next thing we want to put in here, just to keep our health top notch. And then we'll start working on possibly one of these. Um, the coats will need a tailor and a hunter, possibly two hunters. And then the tools will need a blacksmith, which we can put right in town here. So let's see, we have the wood. I almost got enough stone. comes the crops. Oops! Gotta remember this. Gotta put two out of two so that um, not all four workers are working in one field. Uh, you have to kind of go through that. That's the only other one that we have to worry about. Otherwise they'd be working in this one like crazy and maybe not even this one. It looks like they're actually working in it, but just in case. There we go. We got leftover food. It should make us through summer while this is growing, and then we'll have twice as much food, knock on wood, <laughs> for next winter. Um, so let's see, we have a kid here. He's only three, four, twelve. Oh, we got a person here ready to move out, and we got a person there ready to move out, and one kid's almost of age to work, and another little kid. So we'll have one family moving in there and having a kid soon. And, yeah, looking good so far, but it's only been the first winter. That's the easy part. <laughs> I've actually survived the first winter without even a big crop. I only had like a little tiny crop, and it was barely half done by the time winter came. So let's see, we could put somebody working in here, but I need some more structures built first. And I'll wait till it's like three and a half hearts, and then we'll put a... Uh, somebody in that job position. So let's see. Yeah, every once in a while you will hear, um, hear a tree fall down. Um, that's because it's old trees. It's a really neat feature in that when a tree gets really, really old, it will eventually just fall over, I believe. Um, because, yeah, I don't think I have them chopping down trees right now. Oh, maybe I did have some couple. Okay. Let's get some more stone going. Oops. Right about there. That should be enough stone. That's a big cluster of stone right there. <laughs> Even more. Which is great. I would hate to have to build a quarry. Let's do that while we're waiting. Um, well, no, I'm not going to build it, but I'm just going to show you how crazy big these things get. We got a tavern. So here's a mine. A big, big, big piece of square. And you have to have it into a mountainside. So there. Just like in the, the fisheries. You can't have them just on land. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, those are produced iron and coal, I believe. Let's see, right here it should say, used iron and coal out of the ground, yep. And then here's a quarry. It's even bigger. Um, I believe this one can actually be in flat ground. Yep. So you can put this about anywhere. Now with those two, you have to be careful and not have them too close to your um, townspeople though. So what we could do is, woo, look at that. We could put a tunnel through the mountain right here and dig out and clear all this wood and iron and stone and we'd probably have enough to build a quarry and a um, mm -hmm. mine right over there far enough that these people don't get bothered by it but close enough that they could get there to work let's see where's stones low that's because they're putting it all in there that's fine see now this happens every once in a while and that the corn looks like it's growing a little faster, but it's not actually. 7%, 7%. It's just deceiving. <laughs> but I've had that happen. I've had a crop with the same amount of workers, and it grows a little bit slower sometimes. Um, not sure why. But I think that's it. Um, we survived our first winter. That's pretty good. 
So there we go. On to prepping for the next one, because it's already late spring. So summer's coming, and I will see you guys there. Bye.